In this lesson we will learn to design the earth mat in ATAP. So I have already opened my single line diagram over here and I will be designing the earth mat for the bus 3 which I will consider this as the substation in my case. So in order to design the earth mat I will have to go to the elements toolbar and pick the ground grid from here. So let me pick this over here and place this over here and I am going to drag this through my bus 3 and to make the view more and appealing I will go to the symbols option and change the symbol to this and next we will go to design the earth mat and for that I will double click on the grid option over here then I will have the study model over here which will be the IEEE method or the finite element method so we will be doing our design in both these methods that is the IEEE method and the finite element method so for now I will use the IEEE method so I will click this on OK and we will enter into the ground grid system so in the ground grid system on this portion over here what we have is the soil editor so double clicking on this portion I will get the soil editor and from the soil editor we can edit the surface material the top layer and the lower layer so my surface material will be crushed rock and my top layer will be moist soil and my lower layer will be wet organic soil and I will change the depth over here to 3 feet and clicking on OK and next I will go to the edit mode over here and in the edit mode on my right side I will have these toolbars over here so this is the IEEE rectangular shape, IEEE T shape, IEEE L shape and the IEEE triangular shape I will use the rectangular shape over here and on this portion we have the 3D graph of the drawing over here so double clicking on this I can choose the grid size so let me put in 100 100 feet this is for default condition and the number of conductors I uh, will keep this in the default and the conductor type will also will be put in the default the conductor size as well and the cost also and this factors will be changed according to the type of the conductor and here we have the rods this is also the same case as of that of conductors one thing you will have to keep in mind is that the earth rods or the rods are used to dissipate the fault current whereas the conductors are used to suppress the dangerous step and touch voltages so I will click this on OK then going to the ground grid study option over here I will click this on the study case edit study case over here so before that let me fit this into page and I will go to the edit study case over here and as in the previous lecture we have the options for calculation in 50 kilogram and 70 kilograms and the ambient temperature is put at 70 degrees celsius and the method is IEEE 80 so I will update the number of conductors and rods depending upon the optimization and over here the ground short circuit current is put at user specified ok I will have to change this to short circuit study which I will do after one cycle of analysis and this is the fault durations over here and as before the split factor is 100 percentage and the projection factor the projection factor is considered if my substation is subjected to future expansion so if not I will put in 100 percentage over here then let me click this on ok then I will go to the optimized conductors option over here then create a output file name okay now this has already optimized my earth mat as you can see we have number of conductors in the x direction and 5 number of conductors in the y direction 
and we have a warning over here which we will look later so the tolerable voltages are 980 and the step voltage is 3429 so the calculated is 882 and 1313 and the ground potential rise is 1546 so here I will I am having this warning which says that the grid depth is greater than 2.5 meters or less than 0.25 meters so let me close this and I will go to the I will double click on this and I will increase the depth of the conductors to a feet and let me conduct the study again okay now everything is fine we have conducted our study based on these values of the short circuit current but actually we are having a different value so we will go and change this back over here so I have come back to my single line diagram then I will go to the short circuit tab over here then I will fault my bus 3 so bus 3 is faulted then I will run my short circuit analysis then right click on my earth mat then I will click on update fault kilo amps okay now I will replace these values then again I will go to the ground grid system and go to the edit study case option over here then use the short circuit study so in the short circuit study now I have the values from the short circuit then I will click this on ok then I will again conduct the optimized conductors option ok now we are getting a warning this is because my earth mat is not having sufficient size so I will have to increase the size of my earth mat so the warning is over here so let me close this then double click on this I will change the size over here then again ok now everything is fine and over here we have the calculated volts which are well within the tolerable volts over here and we have the optimal number of conductors and the optimal number of conductors in both directions then I will go to the optimized conductors and rods option over here and so the optimal number of rods is 4 so I will click this on close and next what we can do is to go to the report manager over here then I can check out the results from here we will look at the result so the ground resistance in ohm is shown here and the ground potential rise the touch potential step potential so I will close this over here then I will go to the report generator report manager then I will select the input data then I will view this ok maximizing and we have the system data so the short circuit current and the fault durations are shown over here and the weight ambient temperature and the soil data the soil resistivities are also calculated by ETAP over here the material constants the type of the material the conductivity and so on and we also have the cost per rod so number of rods is 4 and the cost per rod is 100 and we also have the grid configurations grid length the number of conductors and the cost in feet and the total cost is also over here so the total cost of the conductor as well as the total cost of the road is also calculated in ETAP. So in economic and engineering point of view this earth mat is sufficient for our system. And in the next lesson we will design the earth mat based on the finite element method. So see you in the next lecture.